Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously I'm vlogging today. It's been a while since I vlogged the last time and I'm pretty much doing the same thing as I did in the last vlog. So I'm so exciting. But anyway, I am just about to head out the door. I'm running late as per usual. So I have my makeup done and I'm dressed. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a second. I just need to do my hair really quickly. I'm gonna use this. I was sent this. It has hair in it because I've been using it. I was sent this recently. I've been using it actually quite a lot. It's from GHD. Oh my God, there's actually a lot of hair in it. Hold on. So it's from GHD and it's their new hot brush. It's their first ever one of these. I've actually used a lot of these before and obviously this is by far the best one I've ever used because GHD hair styling tools are literally the best. But this is really good for situations like now. My hair was styled yesterday, believe it or not. So I'm just going to kind of rejudge it using this. I'm just going to brush these front bits first. So see like the kind of front bits of my hair? This is what this brush is really good for. Like, already that makes a difference. And the back of my hair, whatever way I sleep, it leaves like the weirdest kind of kink in the back of my hair. It's so annoying. I get it from my mum, she has it too. This is really good for that because obviously you just brush it through. It makes your hair so smooth as well. The difference. So I'm actually working with GHD for this product. They sent it out to me ages ago. Like I said, I tried it out for a while. To be honest, I kind of knew I was gonna love it because all of GHD's products are like the best hair products you can actually get. I've been using them since I'm about like, what, 15? Even younger maybe. So I definitely trust the brand a lot. I also find it really good for the baby hairs, the back of my head, like here, because they get kind of like, if I'm having showers and stuff, they get a bit frizzy. So just like gliding it through once the back helps that. Also, sometimes in the front of my hair, I will kind of grab it and just turn it. It's not actually meant for this, but this is what I've been doing. And it just adds a little bit of a kind of wave or movement to the hair as well. Just a little bit of information about this if you're interested in getting one. It's obviously good for a lot of things like revamping your hair the next morning if you're like me and you just can't hold a style. But it's also good for ponytails and obviously if you're styling your hair originally with just this, it's really good. I'll show you different ways that I use it throughout the vlog too. So this heats up to 185 degrees Celsius for guaranteed healthier looking hair, so it says. And also, because of the technology, I think it's, it's the ionizer. Yeah, so the ionizer restores balance back to the hair and eliminates frizz, the hair is smooth and glossy. So you can actually see that it does do that. So this is the bit I'm talking about. See back here, my hair goes all weird. So this is so handy for that because it just brushed through. And then for the front bits of my hair, I'm gonna section it off and then I'm just gonna grab a brush and brush all the hair kind of forward like this. And then I kind of just turn it up at the ends can't see a thing. <laughs> I actually picked up a few things from H&M that arrived today and tried them on but I always order the wrong sizes in clothes. I always just go for the bigger sizes and then I always need a smaller one but I'd rather them be too big and too small a lot of the time but I actually need to get a smaller one so that's what I need to do today. This is my hair done by the way and I add a little bit of a kind of curl just in the front bits of my hair with that so I just kind of bend it. So if I pick up anything new today other than the H&M stuff because I'm going to do a haul for the H&M clothes I'll show you what I pick up, but now I need to go because Tom's waiting downstairs. So I'm home now and I realised that the outfit that I was wearing was the exact same outfit that I had on in my last vlog. So that's embarrassing. <laughs> so I literally just got changed into the Sarah hoodie and these Victoria's mm. Secret tracks bottoms because this is literally what I wear most days. Just comfortable loungewear. Isn't that right? Cutie. So I did pick up a few things from H&M, which I am going to include in H&M haul because I'm waiting on a delivery as well. I basically ordered loads of stuff from them and then had to return them all and order the right sizes because I'm terrible at ordering my correct size. And then I picked up one or two um, new things when I was in store, obviously. And then I also got two pairs of jeans from Topshop, but I also did a Topshop online order that's being delivered tomorrow. So I'm gonna have H&M and Topshop haul. So basically the only things that I picked up that I can show you now are these cotton pads. These are like large ones that I thought would be good for when I'm taking off my makeup with my cellar water. These here for my nail polish remover, new fish oils, and then I got these. So I was eating these like hair chewable gummy bear things. I can't remember what make they were though. I really wanna get the sugar bear hair ones just because I see everyone has them, but I think you have to order them online and then I just saw these in store today and I had two, because you're meant to have two a day. And oh my God, they are delish. So I just take them because no harm, just like obviously you can just get biotin if you prefer, but this has biotin, vitamins, zinc, and everything else in it there as well. So I'm just waiting on my food delivery to come now. Tom's downstairs, he actually picked it up and then I realized after he picked it up that I wanted some as well, so I ordered some on the app. So hungry right now, I can't wait for this food. Okay, so I was absolutely awful today when it comes to vlogging, but we'll get there. 
we'll get there. I'm gonna take off my makeup now. Usually I have a shower every night before bed and just like scrub all over, put creams on all over. But I'm just really tired tonight. I had a bad sleep last night. So it's catching up with me now. It's like half 11, which is very early for me to be tired. Usually I kind of fall asleep at around half one. That's only recently, which is good for me. Like that's me working on my sleep routine. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I use to take off my makeup if I'm not washing my face. So this is what I use for waterproof eye products. It's really good because it has an oil in there so it really lifts off any waterproof products really quickly. If you have eyelash extensions, you can't obviously use that. And then for the rest of my face, I use the Bioderma Micellar Water and then I just picked these up today, which I showed you, which are like extra large cotton pads because usually I use a lot of the smaller ones. I'm hoping I can just use like three or four of these to take off all my makeup and I keep going until the pad is clean. And then this is my little skincare routine at the moment. So I only start using this the last like four days. I use this pixie toner. This is my second bottle of the Vichy Mineral 89. It's really really good. I'm also using the Vichy Equalia Thermal Serum. So two serums at the moment which is not necessary but I just had both of them so I, I use them. And then I have the Equalia Thermal Eye Cream because I usually like to kind of use products within the same range from a brand because I just feel like they're obviously designed to work together. And then I have the Vichy Quality Thermal Night Cream. So I'm pretty sure these are the same products I showed you in my last vlog. But since my last vlog, I did use a full La Mer skincare routine. And I really did not like the products, guys. I'm gonna flip you back around. It's just so unimpressed by them and they're so expensive. I'd never used their products before. Obviously, I see everyone talking about them and people have been talking about La Mer for years. Gets loads of like write-ups and recognition. I really did not see what the fuss is about. Like, they were good, but like, I actually prefer the Vichy stuff at the moment. Maybe it's just my skin didn't have the right products for my skin or they don't suit my skin. Obviously, different brands suit different people. So it's kind of annoying considering I spent a bit of money, but I only got the travel size thing or like, you know, like a travel pack. So I didn't spend, you know, as much as I could have on the product. So that's good. I did keep the creme de la mer, like the original cream, because obviously that's one that everyone talks about. So I want to give that another go. And I'm not giving up on that yet. But like the face cleanser, I really didn't like. It leaves like a soapy kind of residue on your skin. The Vichy one that I use, I think it's a quality thermal. I'm not actually sure. I showed it in my last vlog as well. That's like my fourth bottle, I think, of it in the last while. It's so good. It takes your makeup off so easily and it doesn't dry out your skin either. And it's like 14 euro. Definitely recommend the Vichy one instead of the La Mer one. So save yourself the money in case you're considering investing it or even get a sample. But yeah, didn't do for me. Anyway, back to the Vichy products that do work for me. So after my night cream, I'm just gonna spray a bit of this as well because obviously I'm not washing my face. I wanna give it a bit of extra nourishment tonight with this. So yeah, I was gonna wash my hair as well tonight because I'm really holding on for dear life when it comes to washing my hair. But I'll just do that in the morning and style it again in the morning because look at this. Guys, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take off my makeup and go to bed and I'll talk to you in the morning, good night. Look at this for weather. Ew. So I'm gonna be staying inside for most of today anyway. So I was just in the middle of sorting out my wardrobe there because it's just one of those days, like look outside. Blah. So because I've done a lot of online shopping, like I said, I got stuff from H&M and Topshop. I need to go through all my hoodies, sweaters and jumpers there. So I was in the middle of doing all of that. This is some of my Topshop and H&M stuff. I'm still waiting on an H&M delivery and then my other Topshop order just arrived. So I am like overwhelmed at the moment, but I do kind of go through my wardrobe like every three months-ish and just take out anything that I'm not wearing because there's no point. And usually my sisters will take it or we give it to charity and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't mind getting rid of things that are just, you know, taking up space. So this is where we're at at the moment. I obviously like light colored knitted jumpers. This is my pile of stuff that I haven't actually been wearing and if I haven't worn them by the end of this winter then they're all going to go. And then these are the stuff that I'm going to keep. So all of my acne knits there, my H&M ones. H&M are so good for knitwear by the way. Then I have two All Saint ones, pennies and then Topshop, Zara and stuff like that. And then these are all just kind of zippies and hoodies that I kind of wear for casual wear. So I'm kind of focusing on this at the moment because I actually wear all of these. And then I have all of my jackets and my coats just here to kind of give a bit more space. I have my eye on these three here because I don't really wear them as much. I might keep one and then give the other two away if I haven't worn them. I need to get this repaired actually, this one here. That just reminds me, I have to bring a few things to get repaired. When the weather is this miserable, this is what you kind of have to do, all like, you know, indoor tasks for today. I still haven't showered or anything yet. It's like half 12, hence why I'm not showing my head because, oh my God, the actual state of me right now. But after I sort through 
all of this. I'm gonna have a shower and do my hair and makeup and talk to you guys then. I'm actually tripping over stuff now. Okay, I need to finish this. So I kind of got a bit carried away with that whole organization vibe that I was in earlier. As you saw, I was organizing my wardrobe and then I ended up going downstairs and kind of cleaned up and organized downstairs a bit and put on about three loads of laundry. So it's been productive, but I was still in my pajamas and had, hadn't showered. So I was like, okay, I need to actually clean myself right now. Not just the house. So wash my hair and it's blow dried. I'm just gonna run through it really quickly with the GHD hot brush again. It's actually not too bad because like I said, I did blow dry it, but like see all the kinks and stuff around my face. I just, I can't deal with that. And also it's kind of frizzy. So I just wanna make it a bit more like sleek and straight. So I'm gonna show you how I use the hot brush to actually style the hair, not just to kind of like revamp it if it's already been styled. I'm just gonna brush through like so. I did use a heat protecting serum on my hair um, before I blow dried it and then I sprayed a bit of the GHD heat protecting spray on as well after I dried it. So if you're looking for a good heat protecting spray, the GHD one, you guys have seen me use it for years. It's been in my videos like maybe two, three years ago. I've used it for so long. It's really good because it doesn't make your hair sticky. You need to use heat protectant. I did not cut my hair this short to play games, okay? I'm keeping it healthy. So it's easy as that. It just kind of makes it look, especially around my hairline, a little bit neater and more styled. And I never section it more than just half and half because the brush actually has longer and shorter like bristles in it. So it does kind of get deep into your hair and like catches like all the hairs in it. And yeah, this is suitable for all hair types, so it says as well. My hair is actually quite thick and kind of dry, so works perfect for me. It makes the most difference really to the top of my hair because my hair just dries like with too much volume, it's really annoying. I actually blow dry it down to get rid of the volume and then it always just appears. Like, look at this, it's actually crazy. So people always ask me how I get volume in my hair, but I actually spend half the time trying to get rid of the volume. This is where it works the best. So it's really as easy as brushing your hair. I really want to get my mum to use this because I feel like this is the perfect kind of styling tool for her because it is so easy to use. It's basically just brushing your hair. So for her, this is not going to like intimidate her. So I'm going to give it to her for a few days and see how she likes it. It's actually been like raining and kind of like sleet for the whole day. So I haven't been able to walk the dog. I've been inside the whole day. So I'm only on 7,100 steps. This is my Fitbit, by the way. I am obsessed with Fitbit. Our whole house is obsessed. We all have them, so we have like the little group challenges like to see who can do the most steps in a work week and on the weekends and stuff. This is just how I like to kind of section my hair, by the way. So yeah, I might go on the treadmill if it continues to rain for the evening, just to get the steps up, you know? I like to try to do over 10,000 each day, so 7,000 isn't gonna cut it, you know? So my plan for the rest of the day, because I'm still in the kind of organization cleaning buzz, is I'm going to actually clean my room now, because obviously I organized the wardrobe of it. So I'm going to clean it up. And I'm also gonna clean my makeup room a bit. It's actually not bad at all. So this, by the way, is available now from February and it's 139 euro and 135 pounds if you're from the UK. And it's available for a limited time only from hair salons, online stores, and ghd.com. So if you wanna check it out, I'll leave the website down below so you can click on and have a look. But now, my friends, I'm gonna go and hinge my bedroom. Obsessed with Mrs. Hinge, by the way. I've been watching her stories when I sat down for a second and I was like, I need to clean. So yeah, we're gonna go do it and stop talking about it. Check my steps first. 30 minutes. Off the podcast on. Okay, so slight change of plan. I didn't end up actually cleaning my room. So my sister ended up going to bed and because my room is above her bedroom, I don't wanna be like hoovering and keeping her awake. So not cleaning my room. It's not actually that bad anyway. I keep my room quite clean. So overall it's, it's fine. You know, there's nothing, it's not like urgent. So that's just all of my haul stuff there. And then obviously that's my makeup remover and stuff I'm gonna use now. So it's not bad. I did, however, on the treadmill. So my steps are now 12,000. If you have a Fitbit, then you'll probably understand the obsession with the steps. Like, it's actually really good because it does make you so aware of how little or 
how much you move in a day. What I'm gonna do now is basically just take off my makeup by the way. These extra large cotton wool pads that I got in Boots yesterday, they're so good for taking off your makeup if you use micellar water. And because they're bigger, they're kind of easier to use or like hold on your face as well. So definitely recommend them. I'm gonna be picking them up from now on. And because the last few days have been pretty boring and I haven't really been doing much, I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well just to kind of give this video a bit more content because I have a feeling it's pretty basic at the moment and there's not a lot going on. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow will make the vlog a bit more interesting if it's kind of three boring days, you know, kind of equals out as like one exciting day maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll chat to you all in the morning. Good morning. It is currently about quarter past nine. So I had a quick body shower this morning and then just threw on layers of clothes because it's one degree out today but it says it feels like minus three degrees and it was just like lightly snowing a second ago it stopped now but i'm gonna bring the dog for a walk because he wasn't out yesterday and he needs to get out so i'm just gonna throw on a quick bit of makeup to make myself look a bit more alive and then i'm gonna come back and clean my room because i didn't get to do it last night oh shit i just dipped into the bronzer <laughs> it's too early for me and then I'm gonna have a shower and get ready again because what I'm doing now isn't like my hair and makeup for the day. It's just kind of for the beginning of the day. And then because it's Friday, I want to actually do like proper hair and makeup to make myself feel a bit better. If you can hear my mum hoovering downstairs, I'm sorry. But like the woman hoovers every second. <laughs> Look at the lack of eyebrows, guys. Seriously, I need to tint them very soon. Okay, so makeup is done. Very basic. And I realised that this lash is really clumped, but doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna do my hair really quickly because I'm probably gonna style it properly later. So I'm just gonna use my GHD brush again. It was in my sister's room, of course. So I'm just gonna brush this through my hair quick quick because I'm just gonna do my hair into an upstyle like ponytail or something. So just to get the kind of front bits again because they're the bits that go a bit crazy and underneath my hair as well. That was easy. Okay, we're done. Now I just need to put on more layers because it's so cold out. Like. So t-shirt, jumper, hoodie. Don't know why I'm wearing cream. I'm gonna get makeup all over it. And then coat. I actually love this coat. I got it from ASOS. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. It's so warm and I love the color. You won't miss me today. Oh, I can't really move. Okay. Then I've got gloves and a scarf too. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> Let's go. The sun's out. Perfect timing. Cutie. having a successful morning so the dogs walked we've been to the post office dropped stuff off in the dry cleaner did a food shop and it's 11 o'clock so that's good so i'm just gonna have breakfast then i have a call my manager and then i'm gonna clean my room have a shower and actually get dressed up and kind of dolled up because i have been wearing kind of like you know gym gear and tracksuit items pretty much for the last few days well actually no, that's like because i went to the lunch and i actually had normal clothes on but i feel like getting a nice outfit on today so i'm gonna make porridge with peanut butter and raspberries because i've been really bad I've been, well i've been trying to be healthy recently and then yeah the last few days i just have not been at all hiking that ice cream and the whole lot so just need to rein it back in and get back on track you know it's time to put the food shop away Heater is so cold. Let's just call it. Oh, okay. I just saw Hank roll out one one slope. <laughs> so I just got this delivery here. It feels like it's going to be shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> She's chasing for the glove. Oh, shampoo and conditioner. Anyway, so this is the Garnier Ultimate Blend Daily Nourisher Almond Crush Conditioner and Shampoo and Hair Mask. Let's smell this. Oh my god, that smells so good. So 
So this is plant-based hair care, up to 98% natural origin hair care. And this one leaves the hair gently cleansed and weightlessly nourished. And it's 100% vegan blend. So thank you very much, Garnier. And then I also picked up one of my deliveries from Massimo Duty. I've actually never ordered something from them before. But this is one thing that I picked up in sale because I seen a girl I follow, Emma Lewis Conley, on Instagram who is actually gorgeous and I'm obsessed with her. She was wearing it and I loved it. So let's see if it looks as nice on me. So it's a jumper that I got in sale. I usually don't go for these type of things, but if I can, I'll try and search a picture of her on the screen now. And it looks so nice. Yeah, I love this. So happy. Can I also just say that it's half 11 and I'm on 8,000 steps? And my heart rate's up at 90 because I'm running around. So for anyone who's interested, this is how I make my porridge. I do 30 grams of oats and then about 200 ml of milk. And then just recently I've been using the My Protein Flavor Drops. This is the white chocolate flavor because I follow a girl called Sinead Hegarty who I am obsessed with. She's an Irish girl living in Sydney and she actually always uses these My Protein Drops and that's why I got them. And they're so good for the likes of porridge and smoothies and stuff like that. So I literally use three drops of it because it's really strong and I like sweet things, but this is really strong. Three drops is definitely enough for porridge. And then I just mix this around, obviously, put it in the microwave, heat it up, and then I do 20 grams of peanut butter. This is the Tesco one, so it's literally just made with peanuts. That's the only ingredient. And then I do as many raspberries as I like, and then 10 grams of honey as well, because obviously I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> and it's so, so tasty. And this is my breakfast. Yum. Oh, more deliveries. This is getting a bit ridiculous now, but that is the rest of my H&M haul. I'm actually waiting on one more. Because oh, I keep going on and seeing different things that I forgot to pick up. And I know I'll probably end up returning half the order, which is the story of my life. And then this I picked up from and other stories. It's actually a coat that I'm probably going to wear today. So I'll show you that later. And I'll link this chain below with the jumper that I got today as well. Because I'm going to wear the jumper and the coat today. But the H&M stuff and the Topshop stuff that I've been talking about, I'm going to include in two separate hauls. So obviously I'll have all of them linked in the haul videos. So yeah, I need to organize these. So like what I do at the front mm. is kind of grab it and you can turn it like this. Do you get me? Yeah, like, yeah, they would have known. So you can kind of curl the, see the way that gave you that curl there? Oh, there. Like that. From using it, realize mm. that if you kind of do that little flick, it adds a bit of a wave to it. I can see the steam coming out, like it does heat up yeah. quite, so you'd want to mind your ears. Well, it only heats up to 185 degrees, so it's like mm. the safest temperature, I think, for your hair, supposedly. Yeah. I actually think you'll really like this. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, once you do it every day, I'll really like it. Yeah. Like when you were smoking. How do you? I can't do it, Mom. So now it's slammed into you. Yeah. Except for this is the hairbrush, so you've no excuse not know it. Not know how to use it. Yeah, I like it. I knew you would. So I just got this delivery here from Image Skincare. Today seems to be the day for all the deliveries. <laughs> they actually emailed me and asked if I wanted to top up of any products and I do love their stuff. So this is what I use day to day is their SPF 32. So it's the matte one, but it actually gives a really nice glow and like luminous kind of look to the skin as well. It's fab. So it's really moisturizing, but it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin at all. And if I'm away, like holidays and stuff during summer, I use this on my face because it doesn't clog my skin or anything like that either. So I really love that. And obviously you're meant to use an SPF every day. So they sent me a new one, which is fab because I'm coming to the end of this. And they also sent out a new Aluma serum. So I, you guys know if you have watched my previous videos or if you follow me on Instagram and stuff, I love this serum so much, especially in summer. So this here basically evens out your skin tone and brightens your skin. It just makes your complexion look a lot better. So if you're like me and you get freckles in the sun, this is really good because it evens out your skin tone on your face and it actually reduces the appearance of the freckles so much. If I could actually apply this all over my body to even the skin tone on my whole body, I would, but obviously that'd be really expensive, so I don't. And then this obviously prevents, SPF is gonna prevent any skin pigmentation and freckles, etc. So the two of these here give you really even clear skin. Look at the actual state of me. Like I'm still going through the H&M delivery in the top shop just to kind of organize stuff, try on the clothes, see what I actually like and want to keep and then return anything that I'm not going to keep. And weirdly enough, like I said, usually if I order stuff online, 50% of the stuff, if not more, goes back. I have to return it because it either doesn't fit or it doesn't suit me, but I like to just buy it and try it anyway. Nearly everything I'm keeping, bar maybe 
three things max which never happens typical when i have huge orders put in everything just i really like which is not a bad thing but i didn't really anticipate you know keeping all of them and spending that much money but look it's meant to be i'm meant to keep the clothes i don't mind oh my god look at the actual look i'm stating me right now half an hour in my room shower get ready and get out before the sun sets today's just been one of those days it's currently 10 past one still need to have a shower after my walk and I'm on 12,000 steps. That just shows how much I've been moving today. So imagine I got 20,000 today. I don't think I've ever gotten 20,000 steps. Might be today. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curve. You cause all that is stuck in my head. Okay, last but not least, I gotta do this on the carpet. Then we are finished. And we are done. So satisfying to have a clean room. Oh, it's one of my favorite things ever. Oh, it's so satisfying. It smells so good as well. So my sheets do have a bit of tan on them, but I only changed them about five days ago. And I'm gonna do my tan tonight, so it's no point in me changing the sheets just yet. I'll do it next Wednesday. I'm going to London, so I'll change them before I leave, and then I'll come back to fresh sheets. The only thing that really annoys me about my room is the ceiling here has like stains from the lamp because obviously it's low ceilings. I don't know if you can see the black mark just there. And I recently took down my TV, so this little wire and patch in the wall is still there. So I'm gonna get them fixed soon, and I'm gonna get the room painted. So both of those little things will be fixed but other than that so good i get actually a lot of questions about my furniture so my wardrobes bedside lockers and this unit here as well they're all from b space i'll leave their instagram down below on the website if you guys want to check them out and the wood i'm pretty sure is the shade cashmere and i also got the handles from them as well i love the handles now i really need to clean myself i'm gonna wash my hair as well because i just feel manky okay so i'm finally ready but it's actually dark out now so i was gonna wear that new massimo duty jumper that you saw that i got earlier and a big white furry coat that i got from and other stories that also arrived today but instead i'm gonna save them for tomorrow because tom and i are going to druid's glen and it's nice kind of scenery around there and i'm gonna try to get a nice outfit picture when it's actually bright outside so it's dark now like i said i'm in a dark outfit which i'll show you in a second this is actually one of the jumpers that arrived from h&m today i actually did more of a kind of um cranberry orange eye because i thought i was gonna wear that jumper that has a little bit of pink in it so i want to match it and then i just washed blow dried my hair and then ran through it really quickly with the ghd brush again and just kind of curved in the edges so it looks a little bit more finished so i literally only have instant tan on as well i'll show you the one i'm wearing it's the bondi sands glow one day matte tan and if you've no other tan on and you like a dark tan like no developing tan on this one is so good because it's so pigmented so it looks really flawless on the skin and it's a gorgeous like olivey tan color so definitely recommend this it also comes in a shimmer and a gloss version but i just get the most use out of the matte and then for my hair i used the ghd heat protection spray 
spray again and then I finished it with some of the Kerastase elixir and this scent is so nice. I think this one's for colored hair but I'm sure you could use it if you don't have color in your hair as well. I also got two more deliveries because today seems to be the day for delivery so I'll show you them when I'm back. So this is one of the jumpers that I got from H&M like I said. It's kind of like a charcoal jumper with a deep v-neck and it has kind of ribbing design just here and it's actually kind of long in the back and long in the front as well which I love and it's more of a thin knit because I only seem to have really thick knits and I needed a thinner jumper that I couldn't wear under in particular this acne jacket because it's so thick that I have to wear something thinner underneath it. So I thought this would be perfect and then these jeans are the Jamie jeans and they're in this kind of medium grey colour. I got these a while ago but if they're still available I'll link them down below. I'll link everything that I'm wearing by the way. Um, my runners are the Alexander McQueen runners. They actually have a dupe of these in Primark at the moment which I got. I'll show you them really quickly in case you didn't see on my Instagram story. So this is the kind of knockoff ones from pennies and I can't remember how much they were maybe 15 euro my hair is actually growing so quickly it's crazy well it always grows quick but because it was so damaged before it never actually got any length this way but I can already notice after two months how much longer it's gone anyway okay so my bag is the Chanel wallet on chain I don't even know if you can see that and I'll show you what it looks like with the jacket on as well so this is the acne aviator jacket on it is absolutely massive and it is extremely warm so if I just have this thin knit with this jacket on it's more than enough to keep me warm and I have not eaten since breakfast guys that's how much I've been on the go I think I've done like 18,000 steps today so I'm gonna have a snack in the car on the way to food. I keep coming here because the lighting is actually the best. But yeah, if I remember to vlog when I'm out for food, I will. If not, then I'll catch in with you, catch up with you when I'm home. I can't even think I'm so hungry right now. And I'm sweating in this. Okay, so Tom actually had to go drop a key to his brother. So he's gonna be gone for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna show you what I got sent. And those other two deliveries really quickly. I have not even opened them. Guys, I don't know how I've gone this long without eating. Like, this is very weird for me. The first one is from Urban Decay, which is always a treat. This is what it is, a new brow product. Let's see. Ooh, two different brow products. Okay, hold on, let me set this one. So this one here is a double down brow, waterproof, smudge proof brow putty. Ooh, and this one is in the shade Taupe Trap. Looks like powder to me. I don't swatch it just in case I don't use it. And then a waterproof brow gel. I wonder if this is clear. Yes, it's a clear one. Okay, unreal, I'm gonna use that tomorrow. I love a good clear brow gel. And then this is a waterproof pencil and ink stain brow pencil and stain. <laughs> and this one is in the shade Taupe Trap as well. And then lastly is micro fine brow pencil and brush. Okay, if this is like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, then I will love this. Oh yes, it is unreal. I'm gonna use this as well tomorrow. This shade actually looks quite nice. Let me just swatch. Oh, that shade is good for me. So Taupe Trap. If you use some of brow products to me, like the medium brain or soft brain from Anastasia or number three and four from Benefit, then Taupe Trap looks like it will be a good match as well. And then next I have a delivery from Arnett's. Let's see. So this is a new brand to me. I haven't heard of it. It's the Inky List and it's launching exclusively at Arnett's in Ireland from today. Okay, so it's a skincare brand. The prices start from $5.99 and you'll never find anything over $11.99. They sent me a few things. Look at this. I love skincare at the moment. I'm really into skincare. So they have sent this, the hemp face moisturizer. And then they've also sent the rose hip oil, kaolin face mask, and hyaluronic acid. Ooh, face serum. Love that. Thank you very much to Arnett's. Got really good stuff. Love that. <laughs> From where I stand. <laughs> yeah, getting great use out of this treadmill. Do you like it, Hank? So we're just home now. I'm actually on, this is a little side note, 22,000. 600 steps. We still have a couple more hours before the day's over. So I might get 25,000 steps today. It's my first time ever getting, yeah, I could go on the treadmill, but I'm probably not going to. It's my first time ever getting 20,000, so I feel, feel good. But yeah, that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching it. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. 
and if you want more vlogs let me know in the comments down below if you've made it this far then fair play because i feel like this is gonna be a really long vlog but yeah that is it from me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye